So here we are in the new driving instructor feature in the Z1 Analyzer, as version 2022.3.3. Uh, and today we're looking at the Rod Skogen Motor Center uh, in iRacing. So I have a lap loaded. This is in the Porsche 911 GT3R. And uh, the, the red line is the line that we've been driving around the track. And you can use uh, any car. Uh, or any track, and the device given will vary based on the car you're using. Because so, um, the if you're driving a different car at the same track, you will get like different lines or different braking points and things like that. Because obviously, certain cars are uh, different around different tracks. You know, they can brake later or they can corner better or whatever it is. But uh, so right now we're just looking at the 911 GT3R, and we're going to look at a couple of the places that we can improve, uh, and just to show you how this works and how you can use this to help you improve when you are doing um, a, a race at a certain track. So we're just going to start off by playing this back. And um, you can see where you are on the track, which is really useful, even if you're not looking at specific turns, to see where, you sh where your car placement is is, is really good. Um, and uh, you know, do you use curbs, do you not use curbs, things like that. And as you keep going, you can, you know, you can do this all the way around the whole track if you want. I'm just going to stop for a moment and zoom back out. So all the corners here that have these yellow or red um, circles on them are the ones where I can gain time. And the ones with the red circles are the three where I can gain the most time. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to look at those three and see what it's going to tell me. Now, to get to them, you can either drive around as we were doing before, and you watch where your car goes on the track, and then when you get to a certain corner where time can be gained, it will stop, and you can look at that corner. Or you can just go directly to the corner by clicking on it. And if we show the instructions on the right here, uh, it shows you how you do that. So the mouse left click will position the car somewhere, or the control left click will display the information for the selected turn. Now, this can be customized in the uh, settings dialog if you want. Um, but for now, this is how we're going to do it. So, so we can look at the three turns that we're interested in right now, which is these uh, ones highlighted in red. And I'll start with this one. I can control click on it, and it goes directly to it. And I'll zoom in a little bit so I can see this turn. And it says here that I can gain up to six tenths of a second. So that's pretty significant. So I'm going to see what's going on there. Because uh, in this case, I'm doing a 120.6. Uh, and my goal time is a 118.1, so that's you know, two and a half seconds that I could be uh, faster. Now, I'm not going to get that all in one go, but that's my ultimate goal, is you know, a, a 118.1. So it says, the first thing is you should work on improving your line through the turn. So, all right, let's see what that should be. So I click the show line, and it gives me the red line is what I'm doing, and the blue line is an optimal. So, as you see, you coming into it, I'm pretty good coming in, you know, using the curb and everything. But I'm turning in a little bit later. I'm not using all the curb that I could be at the apex, uh, and then you know my track out is fine. So that's one thing to think about: is you know, um, turn in a bit earlier, you know, uh, before the end of the curb, you know, or right at it. Here, I'm kind of what I'm doing is I'm getting to the end of the curb right here before I'm really starting to turn in. But I should be turning in back here just before the end of the curb, and that will help me hit this apex better. Right now, I'm kind of missing it. Uh, I could be right up on this curb and gaining some time that way. Um, so in addition, in the mid corner, um, it says I'm slowing down too much. So I can try going, you know, eight to ten miles an hour faster through here. So let's look at what's going on, um, both with the corner entry uh, and with the mid corner. And I do that by click show pedals. So I click the show pedals, and it goes out and. On the right here, you have what uh, the pedal inputs are, and what your speeds are in the gear, and then what, uh, where you are on track as, as this is happening. Um, so we're going to start this over again, just because I was talking when we started it. Uh, so I'll click Show Pedals again. So right now, you know, it's exactly the same on full throttle for both. But then the, I start braking a little bit later and harder. Um, so I'm actually losing speed um, as, I, as I get in, because I'm also, as I, as I brake, I'm, I'm staying on the brakes longer. Uh, and that's, it's not so much at the beginning, it's in the, uh, the middle and the end, which really, which really makes this uh, difference. So if I look at, uh, at this, you know, the optimal is basically 70 miles an hour, and I'm doing like 54. So do this again so I can see where I'm changing. 
Um, so yeah, so right now, so getting on the brakes pretty similarly, about the same sort of time. I'm a little bit heavier on the brakes, but right here is where I am still slowing down. I'm still slowing down at this point. And even, even now I'm on the brakes um, and I shouldn't be. So basically once you start to turn in, you should get off the brakes and, um, and carry that speed through the turn. And then let's look at the corner exit. The corner exit is fine over here. You know, the line is good and the throttle is good. So my main takeaway on this corner, uh, this one right here, is that I need to turn in a bit sooner and I need to get off the brakes sooner. So basically, as I turn in sooner, that I should be done with the brakes and carry that speed all the way through um, to the, uh, the apex of the turn. So now let's go look at uh, some other ones. So we can look at this red one as well, or this red one down here. So we'll go to this one and see what's going on here. And so here it says I can gain about four tenths of a second. So remember the other one up here was six tenths and this is four tenths. So if I just fix these two turns, that's gonna give me one second on this lap. So let's look at what we can do better. We'll start off with the, uh, the line and see how we're doing there. And again, the red is me and the blue is the optimal. So first up is that I am not far enough out to the right side of the track as I'm coming in. I'm more in the middle. Uh, and that obviously is how I'm, I'm just not pulling over enough. And that means because I'm not farther over to the right, I have to sort of tighten this turn. Uh, and I bet it says here, yeah, that I am slowing down too much. So by being farther to the right, I can open it up and I can, um, you know, I'm hitting the apex really well and the exit is good. Um, it's just I'm slowing down far too much, which is the same thing I was doing in the other turn. So let's look at uh, this one here. I can show pedals and see what's going on. So yeah, the optimal is still on full on the throttle much longer than I am. And um, then even gets back on it before I, I'm kind of coasting in through this whole part right here. And as you can see the difference, 78 miles an hour for me, optimal 93. So the main thing is be a bit farther to the right, stay on the gas longer, um, and you don't need to really back off at this point through the turn. And I'll play it again just so I can you know, get a good idea of what's happening. I should be staying on the gas, and then come off a little bit, no braking really, well actually no braking at all, um, and then back on the throttle. Whereas what I'm doing is I am play it again. Um, I'm on the brakes a little bit and then I'm coasting at the same time on the brakes a bit more while in optimal you can get back on the gas for this part. So I'm just going to look at those two. I'm not going to look at anything else because you don't want to kind of get overwhelmed and look at too many uh, corners in one, uh, in one go. But when I go out again on this track I'm going to look at these turns. I'm going to look at this one and this one and basically remember here I need to turn in a bit sooner uh, and get off the brakes sooner, carry the speed through, and here be a bit further to the right um, and basically don't brake. Um, you, can you can carry the speed through here um, really well and that will gain you, if I do it right, pretty much a second on these. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back and load in my lap and see how I did. Hopefully I've improved and then I'll go look at some other turns. You know, for example, this one down here and we'll see what else gets said on other turns. So um, that's a quick look at the uh, Rudd Skogan Motor Center uh, in iRacing and how you can use the Z1 Analyzer driving instructor to help you improve. And again, do it selectively. Don't look at every single turn because uh, that's too much information at one time. Um, and then go out, do your laps, come back and have another look and see where you can uh, improve again or if you've hit your goal uh, and you know got that extra second. And if so, that's great because that's the goal. That's what we want to do. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, hopefully it was useful. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll have more talking about the driving instructor on other tracks uh, in the coming weeks.